happy summer all my YouTube followers and fans out there. Yes, it's a beautiful summer in July here in 2024. And today we are going to be grilling in the garden. Yeah, we're going to be doing some delicious vegetables grilling today. We're going to grill some peppers, some tomatoes, some corn. And I'm going to show you a take of some corn on the cob and it'll get it done a lot faster. Uh, 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 yeah, a lot faster. Very simple as just throwing that in the microwave for only just a few minutes and bing, it's all done. So first we're gonna make our Kool-Aid. We got some uh, tropical punch Kool-Aid here we're gonna make. And we're also going to grill some Texas Toast Burgers along with some rotisserie chicken on the grill. Yes, I'm back out and grilling again on this season. Yes, if you've seen my uh, 4th of July uh, episode, uh, cooking video where I uh, grilled out, uh, did an all-star grilling, grilled some barbecued chicken. And today is just a beautiful day to grill inside the garden today. All right, so for the Kool-Aid, uh, basically it's uh, the same as you follow on the box here as you just pour it in there all the way up to the top and then I already have some water in here so I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in there and you're gonna take about a cup of sugar all right we are done mixing let's go ahead and sample this and see how it tastes in one of my shot glasses. <laughs> mm, perfect. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. Just add just a just a little bit more in there, just a little, well, there we go. That should be just about good. All right, I would recommend you put this in the refrigerator and let this cool for up to about two hours until it it's all nice and cold serve it over some ice and this is good for any time during the summer months just so make a big thing of kool-aid have for even sunday dinner oh yes perfect for any occasion all right let's go ahead and start chopping up our vegetables that we're going to um, serve for our grill outside So I have an onion here that I'm gonna chop up. I'm gonna put that on the grill. Chop it up just like this here. I'm gonna throw this on the grill. We got some asparagus we're gonna put on there as well. I'm gonna leave it whole just like this. The only thing we're gonna do is season it with a little salt and pepper seasoning. Nice 
been chopped up. That's probably good, but just like that, let's see something here. Perfect. Just perfect. We'll go ahead and put that in our pan here. I'm telling you, grilled vegetables taste so good. And I got some yellow and red bell pepper here. I'm going to chop this up. Just like this. You can also cut it into strips if you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this. pepper here. But yeah, this is how I decided to spend my summer. <laughs> oh, yes. Being at home and hanging out at home, grilling, <laughs> and chilling. <laughs> So we got our onions and our, our uh, red onions ready. And now we're gonna chop up some tomato. And throw that on there too. Oh yes. Salt, a little pepper. All right, so I'm going to put all these in there. salt and pepper. Season our other vegetables as well. And also take a little bit of my famous garlic oil and just drizzle on there just like that. And now our vegetables are ready to go on the grill. All right, so next I'm gonna show you how to make this corn. All right, go ahead and get clean 
cleaned up here a little bit. corn here. Uh, this is a uh, corn on the cob here. Say if you don't want to put it on the stove and boil it, uh, there's a simple trick that, uh, that I learned. Is you take these here, wrap them up in a paper, uh, in a uh, napkin, and put them in a microwave for up to three minutes. And they will come out just as good. And these will be ready to go on the grill. So I'm going to go ahead and wash these up, and then I'm going to get them into the microwave. All right, got the corn all washed, washed real good. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop these in the microwave. So what you do is you take your corn and put it in your napkin and then you roll it up just like you would do a burrito. Roll it up in the napkin just like that. And you're going to place these in the microwave uh, for about three minutes. I'm going to do two at a time. That way it's uh, very simple. I'm going to get these microwaved. And then after they come out, while they're hot, we're going to season them all up. seasoned. So I put these in the microwave for six minutes a piece. Well, uh, I did two at a time, so that's a total of 12 minutes. So if you did them all, all at once, then it would be a total of 12 minutes. That way all of them can cook evenly. Warm up easily and get done. Now, I know what you probably were thinking. I was gonna do this corn on the grill without seasoning it. Wrong. This corn is getting seasoned and then it's going on the grill. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is take some of Tremaine's famous garlic oil. Oh, yes. Oh, it smells like garlic in here. Take a little oregano. Smell that oregano in here. Boss rub. And then I got the chicken already. And you can put some pepper flakes on here if you want to. Let's see. Do some garlic powder, onion powder. And I got some Nashville chicken seasoning. I'm gonna use that with our other recipe. Put a other few seasonings on our corn. And then it'll be all ready for the grill. And everything all set and prepped. Put some little cumin on there. Yeah, summertime means summer grilling. Time to fire up that grill. Okay. Mix this around in the seasoning just a little.
this ready. Now, let's go ahead and get that chicken. All right, so for the chicken, we're gonna need some extra bird, well, uh, extra virgin garlic olive oil. Some Nashville chicken seasoning. We put about a tablespoon or two on there. And some onion powder. We're gonna take a, just a drop of liquid smoke Okay, this here we're going to measure. We're going to take about a, uh, a teaspoon, just a little uh, teaspoon of uh, liquid smoke here. A little bit of this goes a long way. Get it that smokiness. And some Graham Marsala. And rotisserie wings can be any way you want them to be. Any way you want them to be. And some thyme. Mix this chicken together. All the seasoning on, and we are ready for the grill. We are all ready, so I'm going to be making some Texas Toast Burgers. Uh, they're really good. They're a delicious fan favorite of mine. <laughs> Texas Toast Burgers. Uh, instead of using uh, regular hamburger buns, I like to use Texas Toast. Uh, so the vegetables that we're grilling today, some of those I'm going to put on my burger, and man, Mm -mm -mm. So I decided to go the easy route today and get some burgers that are already prepped and ready at the grocery store. So they're all ready. So all we need to do is just throw these on the grill and they'll be done. All right. Let's go ahead and head on outside and start grilling. And a little salt for these. And now we are ready to grill. Let's head on outside. Right, we are outside in the beautiful sounds of nature, about to put some food on our grill. Whew, that thing is smoking hot. Yes, it is. All right, so we got our burgers here. I'm gonna go ahead and put those on the grill, and then our chicken, and then we're gonna go ahead and put our vegetables on here as well. All right, so for my burgers, I'm gonna brush some uh, extra virgin uh, olive oil on them, just a little bit. This, this will prevent them from sticking to the grill. burgers here and then put our chicken on.
So I got this cast iron skillet thing here I'm going to use. And there you go. Onions on there. Just like that. Baby. Oh, yeah. Ah, smells so good out here. Get a chance to grill outdoors and have some good, good, good old food. Now, we're going to throw our peppers. Throw our peppers on there. Put some of that sauce seasoning on there. And oh, yes. Let the cooking be Oh, my, my, my. Now, this is how I grill my vegetables. Like this right here. Yes, just like this. A lot of times I'll use my indoor grill to grill inside. And I think this is the first cooking video where I got a chance to grill some vegetables outdoors. All right, let's check on our hamburgers. See how these are doing. I might be trying to flip these boys. Oh yeah, it's time to flip them. Yep, it's time. Don't you just hate that losing the burger? <laughs> but it's all good. It happens. I was probably gonna burn down there with the charcoal. So I got some asparagus here. I'm gonna take a handful of this and throw it on here. All right. Well, guess what? I was able to save that burger that went down in the charcoal. Yes, I got it right here. We was able to get it all nice and cleaned up, and we saved it. Yay! All right. So now I'm going to take these burgers off. I'll use my tongs to take them off of there.
take our onions off. And our hamburgers are all nice and done and looking good. What was that? <laughs> and I'll put our burgers on this cooling part of the grill and let them sit up here for a little while. tomatoes on. <clears throat> oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Very delicious. Very crunchy. Mmm. They're just right. Just right. So now, we're going to put 
put our potatoes on here. They're already seasoned. They're ready to come on here. So all I'm gonna do is this. Ah, oh, that's it. Slap those boys on their feet. Oh, oh man. Smell that fresh garlic. Remember that garlic oil I put on there? That's what it is. All right, our chicken is looking good, looking great. We can start flipping some of them over. Almost there. Almost there. I'd say uh, another few minutes, then we can flip them all over. Good down home grilling, I call it. <laughs> yes, now, now we're gonna go ahead and once the tomatoes are done, which only take a few minutes. I'm gonna take this thing off of here carefully because it's a thousand degrees hot. Ooh, that, that, that's that's enough to cook me. Yeah, that's enough to cook. Me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let these hang out just for a few seconds. And then all we have left is our corn. And then guess what time it is? It's time to eat out in the garden. Get a chance to enjoy a nice meal out in the peaceful sounds of nature, right in the garden. So, yep, it's that season. chicken has a lot of burnt spots on there all you do is just take it off with your hand and you'll be it'll be totally fine the reason why it's like that is because the, the chicken skin when it's uh cooking the sugars in the in the skin begin to caramelize and that and it begin to, uh, and the fat begins to uh make that look like that there so all you got to do is just peel that skin off and you are good to go No, no, we're not losing chicken. All right, let's put it on the grill. All right, just like this. Now I'm gonna let that hang out, and corn only gonna take a few minutes. The chicken is almost done, and then we will be able to.
Okay, now it's time to take everything off the grill and time to go eat. And oh, yes. some burgers earlier and some mixed vegetables. How good that corn looks. And the burnt pizza you can just take off of there. Good old grilling grub. So now the best part is it is time to eat. So now we we'll go ahead and go inside and assemble all this out here and fix our plate and enjoy some good food out here in the garden. Texas Toast Burger. So instead of hamburger buns, we're going to use Texas Toast. Put some of this uh, mayo chip on there. This is a mixture of ketchup and mayo. Tell me that, doesn't that look good? 